Okay. Um. Hello again. Uh, hello. Uh. So. Just gonna fix a few things here and maybe add some. So I'm just gonna show you what's wrong. Like. Wait. I'm just gonna. So you'll see if one is over here. It's touching this part, it will also get affected, like this one. They're both getting like eaten. So in order to fix that, I'm like, um... I... in here... If touching zombie, switch costume to hitbox. Just gonna add like, a. Uh, Maybe a C for this sprite only. Set C to costume number. Then, if touching zombie, then this one. And then we're gonna switch it back to our C. Switch costume to C. And, and this also works the same for P shooter because, uh, like this. Just wait. Um. Just waiting for a zombie, so... If you put it on a lane here, it'll start shooting, even though the zombie's not on it la its lane, so... Fixing this again... Here, gonna switch costume to... In over the detect... Switch costume to... Hitbox... Set C to costume. Huh? Oh yeah. I didn't add C yet, sorry. Uh, C. Set C to costume number. Now the C must be on top of the switch costume to hitbox, or else it will like take this one and instead it will like that. Switch costume to C. Okay, yeah, I also got it wrong here. It must be on top. Just gonna duplicate that over here. Now I think everything is working smooth. I'll check. I'm gonna like put it on a bigger scale. Oh. But at least it doesn't like um, touch over here, it will not get affected. By I guess we're gonna need a thinner hitbox, so. Oh, sorry about that. I'm just gonna like. Thin down my hitbox to like this part. Each costume to hitbox two. Gonna like new one called detect. Bring it out screen refresh. There. Okay, I just rearranged it like this, so... Yeah, maybe that's... Like that, okay. Just gonna duplicate it over here. Really, you know... Delete this. Also, uh, yeah. For this part, I think I'm gonna switch costume to... Hitbox 2 to make sure it's like... Also... Here, gonna make a new hitbox, also hitbox 2. Just gonna flatten it also. 
You can make it flat as possible, but try and make sure it's gonna. Okay, I'm just gonna check if my if it was correct. Okay, looks like it's still not yet working. Um, I'm just gonna like uh. Sorry for that. So if touching zombie, just gonna set A to zero. Then if touching zombie, set A to one. Then if A equals one, then like this. Just oh my god, um, it work now. Let me try again. Okay, I think the solution for this is maybe like raising the hitbox much more higher and that may be up to like five clicks hopefully There, so now it won't detect the zombie. Now what about when it eats? There, it's perfect now. So now, just to end this, I just want to do this quickly. We're going to do cabbage pulled. Because, you know, you need to like, f it flings on top like that. So I'm not going to change it for a while. I'm just going to... I'm just gonna duplicate this, set it to cabbage, make a new one called CX, CY. Of oh, cabbage. So in here, it's going to be much more different, I'm going to make a Y variable, here going to like repeat, 10 seconds, I, first of all you have to like test, so I'm just going to do a bit of testing for this for a while, okay I think this is like okay. So now we're gonna make something, I'm gonna make something called aim x for all sprites and then a new one called a for the sprite only. So in here I'm gonna like set aim x to, no, set a to aim x. Okay, so now what is this gonna do is like, just gonna like put this over here. So in here, I'm gonna like set aim x to you make a new. I'm just gonna make a new variable called a for this sprite only. Set a to over like over this part. Set a to x position. Then here, I'm gonna like set aim x to x to a plus yes then a over here so in here it's like uh i'm just gonna add like plus 30 i like just plus 10 then copy this code please